Hello, hello everybody, it's a Prof Chop, and we're back again with a new set video. I guess he actually lost all his money in the crypto schemes because he's been releasing videos quite often. What's up, set? Let's find out. Earth Defense Force 6 review. Monoxide poisoning. Hey, hey, people. <laughs> Seth here. What's up, I did Seth? My part. How are you doing? We all did our part, did but it wasn't enough. No? It's been three years since we killed God, Animal and we're still no closer to reclaiming our world. The aliens may be gone. The aliens are giant frog people with guns. On, but the monsters they've left behind. Man, those rifles are strong. Possible. The world is Ooh. ruled by Ooh, monsters. Oh, there's gore. Point, oh boy. We are the invaders and they are the EDF now. Wait, what? 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 What is going on? I need an explanation set. The Earth Defense Force 6 begins now. Okay. This game First off, finally... it does not uh, scream good about Earth Defense Force if we need six games, okay? They've been released outside of the theocratic dictatorship known as Japan, where the personal computer Japan? is a heretical relic, and releasing a good PC port is considered apostasy. Yes, they don't do that. Luckily, the developers aren't getting excommunicated, as this game, which is about 80% EDF5 by volume, somehow mm. has a worse PC port. And this Despite not being an Epic exclusive, <laughs> this game uses Epic online services for its multiplayer. Ah yes, let me Why? Why would you do it? It's on Steam and I, I recently bought GTA 5 on Steam thinking that if I click on my GTA 5 through Steam, I'm gonna go into GTA 5. No, I have to go into Rockstar Launcher and then go into 5. So I need both Steam and Rockstar. <laughs> God damn it. Just sign in with my worst timeline. You can't turn this straight off. up. And every time you get an achievement, it locks your controls and you Bruh. die. We are so bad. Overwhelmingly back negative. That's where damn. we're going. Now, you'd think the phrase EDF plus time travel would be a good tone indicator for this experience, but you'd be wrong. Hey. Watching this game unfold is okay. like giving a 20. The hand, like this, good. A little bit forward, bad. To your local tweaker. It's After the uh, gas station dick pills and two hits of bang energy kick in, it's Damn. impossible to predict his next move. And yet, it's strangely captivating to watch him wrestle an officer while urinating. Backy? What are you doing, Becky? By the way, this is the most normal Becky scene. This is a father showing love to his son. With okay. A full erection. Speaking of which, our sponsor. With a full erection. I need exactly. Money for fentanyl. Hey, gang. Do you want to know why we're dealing with this invasion? Why? Because someone, you specifically, forgot to install ExpressVPN. That's ah. right. Earth Defense Force is a metaphor for what happens when you browse the net is that without it? a VPN. Like ants to a picnic, your unsecured connection <laughs> attracts all manner of unsavory characters. From your brother, already play League of Legends. China has all. All my information. I have a Facebook account, brother. They know more about me than I know about myself. What you I want from me? To Come on, man. And government glowies. Who knows? It's what a they want or what it's they'll Kiara. do when they get it. If you're lucky, they'll hey, just you sell off your at? data to the highest bidder and at, turn your life into a living hell of targeted <laughs> advertising. If you're unlucky, they'll huh? establish a detailed record of every illicit detail of your personal life and use it against you to ruin your life. That's right. You'll be. <laughs> You know why I'm indestructible in this environment? Because I don't have a life for them to ruin. Checkmate. This or is... to resort to making TikTok slop content hmm. just to get by. Thankfully, ExpressVPN stops Real all shit. this and more by routing all of your internet <laughs> traffic through a secure encrypted tunnel, allowing uh -huh. you to browse the internet anonymously, securely, and privately. Wow. Use it to stay safe anywhere, even wow. on unsecured public Wi-Fi. Uh, now that's secure what I call and secure. Personally, that's a lot I use ExpressVPN to protect myself from my own landlord. At the moment, I have him fooled. He thinks I can barely make Kiddo. rent, but as the owner of my yeah, Wi-Fi... Why these things so expensive? 200 for a little fucking action figure? Network. What? He can see everything Who's I do. Buying if he that? sees what I purchase online, he'll jack up my rent. But with ExpressVPN, <laughs> Wi-Fi owners hey, can't see good. what you're up to on their network, making total privacy just one click away. Now, I can go about my normal that the business London Bridge? and occasionally turn it off to Google things like what to do if very poor, how to make money. feet? Money for rent, and is it healthy to eat cement? Just to throw him Sometimes. off the trail. ExpressVPN is consistently rated the number <laughs> no, one not. VPN no, by not. CNET, The Verge, and YouTube tons of other tech me. reviewers. And unlike me, they actually have a reputation. Find out <laughs> how you can get free months of ExpressVPN for free by Wait, scanning the QR code on screen, was clicking it the link in the description it? box below, or by going to expressvpn.com forward slash... Okay, I've play I think I've played this one. I think this is zero or one or two. 
I don't remember you being able to slash set. Earth on them. Defense Force Six innovates on the EDF format of reusing 90% of the last game by uh. having you time travel back to literal copy pasted EDF Five oh, missions. Oh, so they even so it's not 90% of the last game; it's 100%. The Bro, they're genius. is a highlight reel of brain <laughs> rot from the previous title. <laughs> oh my god. Has lost 30% of its population. 30%. That's still not too bad. Is it? Since my mind what? Has Since out when? All related memories as a trauma response, it still hits just as hard. Damn. What a chaos. From a premise, you'd think premise? you'd bring back some kind of premise? super weapon or strategy. But remember, this is a universe where everyone eats glue, including the aliens. What we've Damn. brought back hey, is far I mean, I'm just gonna say that they ain't had a big ass booty. Hey, well, should we need to fight them? Why not breed them? Valuable. Advice. Advice, such as shoot the glowing weak point. In the mm. original timeline, this took the EDF months to figure out. Your guidance helps a little, but the aliens are sending new enemies back in time as well. We're playing uh -huh. a game of quantum chess, but every player is retarded. So, what's new? <laughs> Not much. Welcome to EDF. You get one new mechanic and quality of life features oh which should have been there from the start, like these new damage numbers. So oh, now nice. you can see I'm doing exactly one damage. The ranger <laughs> can now turn ranger. while sprinting. This took years. Why is the camera up his ass, though? Of programming. That Everyone is my gets question. a new backpack weapon slot, so now nice. you can actually use all the stupid shit that would have otherwise cost you an entire slot. Backpack weapons also reload passively, so now you ah. don't have to hold it out for a real life minute to reload your turrets. This entire series Damn. is built on breaking you down to the point where I'm giving praise. Could it be each aliens? Something gets marginally. Bro, at this point, there's only soldiers and aliens. What else could it be? Better. Wing God damn it. Gets an infinite durability, spammable shield that blocks everything. Its intended Ooh. purpose is to Wait. survive attacks. I see ass. Breathing room. Its actual purpose is to grief your teammates. Playing nice. Aerator causes a unique form of brain damage. Air where all of your dopamine pathways remap to prioritize Big Bomb at the cost Damn. of self-preservation. EDF5 tried to fix this by adding more limpet guns and a third weapon slot. EDF6 has given up completely. Now you have an entirely <laughs> new category of drone strikes, which can work underground or in a Why timeline where all of your right artillery you. crews are dead. An offensor gets literally nothing. He's exactly... Bro, that's a... That is three miniguns one on top of each other. What sort of exoskeleton do you need to actually be able to carry this? The same. Just like, like five, what? he goes from broke to broken, from Maniac. garbage can to Gundam, the console of the entire game. EDF's enemy designs take from the late Confucian philosophy of CBT. Confusion or Confucian? Which falls into one of the following categories. Wow. Instant death shotgun, instantaneous corporeal relocation. I can't see what the fuck <laughs> is going on. I'm having an... Oh, so they're taking from the Elden Ring boss fights. Nice, good on them. seizure and the rarest category I'm still of all, about that. actually good. If they have a Damn. gimmick, EDF will make damn sure you know about it. These aliens are armored. They're fully protected, clad in armor, head to toe. Head to toe. Armor. Where do we even need? These enemies have new gear. There are just a few heavily armored aliens. For example, the flying drones have a unique mechanic, <laughs> oh the God. rules of which are described to you in excruciating detail. And what is okay, it? Okay, let's show the rules. Mechanic, the rules of which are. Please note their color. Drones are terrifying machines of violence. You could distinguish their hero by color. Or by the big giant ass fucking drone in the sky, brother. Describe to you. Blue drones are in defense mode. They are searching for attack. In other words, blue drones won't attack. Red drones are in attack mode. You in excruciating detail. And what is it? <laughs> oh my god. An enemy, they get I mean, mad. Listen, they know their audience at least. They know the people that are gonna play this game. One of the simplest game mechanics that anyone, no matter how much their mother drank during Damn, pregnancy, bro. can figure out on their own. In any other game, you would not smoke, need to drill this into the player. But this is EDF. <laughs> I've spent the last 15 hours inhaling nitrous and holding left click. I'm grateful for this reminder. Because nice. with zero explanation, a new red drone shows up. And if you aggro more than one rifle? at a time, you're already dead. That's that was a dead a scream. In EDF5, they are useless. It's a Kiara no because help. no one wants to shoot that Kiara. Okay? In EDF6, very useless. Gura! What the fuck, fuck are you shooting at Gura, motherfucker? Huh? What you doing at my shark? My little hammerhead shark. You shoot at them. EDF's network of radio gas lighters will keep you stocked up on genuinely dog shit advice. At one point, android suicide bombers show up and no, you're told to run away 
Hold your ground, shoot the bombs, don't shoot the bombs, and link up with Charlie. Charlie, Charlie? is the key to all this. A terrifying new enemy. Charlie. However, are we going to hold shift? Their weakness is the shift key. Surprisingly, most <laughs> of the new designs are not terrible. And is that Godzilla? Their hands, which is a physical projectile that can be shot out of the air. The new drones have weak spots and dodgeable attacks. The crew hmm. are actually interested. Cruel? They can block attacks with their energy shield until it overheats. In the game's own words, the black ones don't work. It's genuinely fun combining Yo. different gear and strategy. <laughs> you can't you say that, goddammit. And then you play a mission uh. with the rolling pill bugs, and all that praise goes out the window. Pill I need bugs. to make one thing very clear. Cheat engine is no longer optional. I complained about the drop system. In <laughs> okay, listen, at this point, I'm not noticing a trend in the said videos. There will be cheat engine, and there will be scripting. I wonder what he's gonna script in this video. We already saw the cheat engine. I'm waiting for the script. Five, but now yeah, let's it's go worse set. than I could have possibly imagined. Let me give you a quick rundown. Enemies drop armor and weapon crates. Okay. Armor crates permanently increase max HP by one. Weapon Five. crates are gacha tokens. One. One. ...that give one spin of the end of mission reward wheel. Oh These weapons come God. from a genuinely we schizophrenic loot table based on mission number and difficulty, with a bias <laughs> towards whatever class you're playing. Oh Getting my duplicates God. levels up the star statistic. This is not a small bonus. It's actually a gacha. ...to bring the weapon from borderline useless to borderline griefing. If you're operating under a reasonable assumption that difficulty options are purely a matter of taste, EDF will punish you. If you play the entire game on normal, you'll encounter only 25% of all items. If you want a smooth progression through all of the weapons, playing missions at the developer intended armor and weapon levels, you'll have to play the entire game, and I'm not making on this what? up, 16 times. Every single mission, on every single... Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you, I hate games that do this. Listen, I've played through your game once. Chances are that I want to play through it again, eh, probably slim to none, unless it's an absolutely amazing game. But it can't be too amazing, because if it is too amazing then it i remember everything because it's so good so i don't really feel like playing it again because i already know what's happening at every point right you don't ever feel that like sometimes you can play games that are like okay ish because they're too good you're like you remember everything if they're too bad it's like oh fuck, i don't want to touch that shit ever again Single with a class, stick on normal hard far away and inferno difficulties inferno. or you can use cheat engine to multiply the drops by several thousand and play on well, hard cute so cat. you only miss half a drop looks table. like her mom smoked as well cheating diluting your experience it won't. Every mission has a hard limit on max health and weapon level. Ah. This isn't just a polite suggestion. I'm asking you to cut out 60 hours of grind. So you 60 can find out hours. it makes no difference because you get one shot okay. anyway. Which maniac is going to play 60 hours in this goddamn game? Come on, bro. I mentioned this game was insane, but it doesn't truly become clear until you shoot at the time machine again. You know you're in for a treat when you see the words... The Earth Defense Force 7 begins now. This is where you realize we're not using time travel to stop ourselves from eating glue. This is a race through time to see who can eat the most glue, uh -huh. us or the aliens. And right now, they're winning because they're they can send glue. new enemies back in time, but we can only bring our memories back to our bodies in the past. The scientist who travels back with you tries to make use of this, but each time he does, the My EDF wife sends was him to killed. the psychiatric ward. He's looped so many times, he's memorized the game's dialogue. I mean, I don't actually know how many times. Wait, 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 let's see that, let's see that. What was that shit? You met girls around with it during now time at this point. No matter how many times they're killed, I suppose it's better than the spring for good. How many times he's looped. He just said he so lost count, but the my wife died so many times now. numbers, so that's Damn. not saying much. When he gets locked up, the title of smartest man in the EDF goes to Steve, the only man who can count all it's the way Steve. up to 10. Yeah, and it's number nine. The ninth one out of 10. Nice, Truly Steve. Our brightest mind. Ah, uh, I'd kill for a meal. I'd even eat a monster at this the, point, people. Is the fight not fight, dude? People smarter than us have already tried. I believe them. Because this is a post No Child Left Behind universe, EDF no has a very particular behind. way of introducing new enemies. First, you'll do, do a it? normal mission with normal dialogue. Okay. Then, near the end, the NPCs will randomly normal bring dialogue. up something you've never heard before. <laughs> like, I would have never believed that demons would rule over the surface three years ago. You're left wondering, what? is that a metaphor? Then, you go to the next mission and... There's a demon. Oh shit, they were kidding. That cruel is getting prime toppy. What was that sentence so said? so hopeless that many in the EDF are seeking God. Not in a religious sense, they are physically looking for God. The possibility <laughs> Which of one? his existence gives the EDF... Which one? We need to know. Have hope. Not they find hope him? that he'll save us, but hope that we can beat him to death ourselves. Oh. However, that's not going to work this time. So, we really need to figure out how to use this whole time travel thing to our advantage. The Zoom. Earth Defense Force 8 the... begins now. This time, the scientist managed to avoid the insane asylum and uses his time traveler knowledge to invent newer and better weapons for the EDF. Nice. Yeah. And then Wait. he gives us the plot. Okay, so technically does he need to invent them if he already knows about them? Isn't it just 
recreating them because he knows they're in the future or is he making better weapons in the past now this is very weird twist the aliens aren't from another planet they're from earth but millions of years into if we learned that they are patch match for creatures from what which said said these monsters are earth-based creatures so they said they came from the distant the future they're not teleporting in monsters that look like giant ants they're sending the result of millions of years of ant evolution Damn. back in time these aliens evolved from an earth where mankind is extinct and the we world is ruled titties. by monsters when they asked are we alone in this universe they discovered the ruins of human civilization Aish. and went back in time to check us out what? when they descended Why? their egg-shaped ships Take early stop humans off. mythologized them as gods however one of them said imagine drunk driving one of these and did exactly Ed? that after finding the ship humanity realized oh shit there's a Good movie. and formed the earth defense force mm. if the edf exists the world will never be ruled by monsters and the aliens will never evolve that single drunk driving incident just time paradox the aliens but i now go back in time and just kill all the ants i'm very confused they have one last option to stop themselves from getting blipped they and evolve frogs. from a the world where frogs. humanity is extinct so they just need to make a dragon now, you may be thinking why not just go back and turn grug Hey, yo, you saw that bitch did his? God damn. And Grunga into paste because that would cause another time. Why you what, Seth? If they solve the problem too early, then they. Relax or flap on a bit because about this recent points fiasco. Do not be alarmed, nor do I handle their species accordingly. Splendid. Okay, I feel like some racism is in the air, but I don't know exactly how. They never I just feel it. The problem, My bones can feel it. never solve the problem. <laughs> That's why they invade at the start of EDF-5. It's just after the formation of mm. EDF, so there's still a reason to go back and invade. All of this means we have a chance. We just have to do, do well in one loop, and we can time paradox the aliens out of existence for good. This Smart. time, we do so well against the aliens that instead of emerging from a bunker into a war zone, you're greeted by an army of advanced soldiers. Nice! In a high-tech utopian The Wakanda. heroes have arrived. Right. Then you blow it all up, but despite your efforts, the aliens are still one step ahead. Shit. Every loop, they send their evolved ships back into the ring. Turns out, these ships carry a log of everything we did during the war, and they go back in time and use that to retroactively win the war. They've been doing this the entire- Why don't we do that? Time, but it sounds like the bare necessity in game, they were being subtle about it. At the start of the game, a ring ship appears. <laughs> then, in the next mission, everything is destroyed. They didn't just move quickly, they went back and changed the timeline. Uh. We can only go back in time by shooting at the ring at a specific time. But if the aliens time travel before then, they can retroactively change the current timeline. Wait, from we can't one win. where we have 10 billion civilians to one where we have five hundred civilians because Shit. of edf's time travel rules every mission takes place in its own temporal pocket dimension any attempts to change the timeline the past fuck? or future will get and drawn premier issues go with go out and zap the extreme we will thank you father what the fuck is going on there cued and all the cued <laughs> actions resolve oh when the mission ends if we're in mission 50 Bloodborne? and you say hey, i saw bloodborne for pc don't lie to me like that set i need this back in time to introduce your father that. to competitive League of Legends. You can watch me leave and you'll be perfectly fine. Then, on mission 15, you no autism? longer exist because you never existed. Oh, shit. Who are you? So, when a mission ends, what the evolved ships going back in time gets resolved. And in the next mission, you're fucked. The scientist couldn't care less, though. He's got bigger issues at the I moment. Actually? There goes Ghost again. In order to win, <laughs> we have to do so well in one Wait, by the way, is that the same scientist dude that lost his wife like 13 million times? That we can assault the time machine before the evolved ships can go back in time. We're done playing around. But it's the, time they to were win faster than us. How are we faster Force now? Nine begins now. Oh my now, God. we've gone all the way back to the very beginning of EDF-5. This is the payoff for everything we've had to put up with. From the very start, the EDF has giant mechs called Bragas lying around. Bragas. Why don't they use them? Because they're construction cranes. The EDF doesn't even think to use them as weapons until months later. But this time, <laughs> you snuck your weapons. Okay, I think I see why we're having so many problems. I think everybody's just a moron. Like straight up, detector. everybody. So you can save one guy that dies during the tutorial. Turns out, this was the single most important person in the fucking universe. Why? The linchpin that turns the tide of the entire war. <laughs> this one guy is the only person who knows the code for the Braga elevator. In EDF-5, the base- Why does only one person know the code for the Braga? Gets wiped and Why? they have to fish out the Bragas from the rubble. But this time, they drop the anchors and you hold the line, punching them to death nice. and saving the base from annihilation. Every Ooh, mission in this going timeline on corrects all of your mistakes. These guys got squished by a pylon, but now we can block their convoy so they don't. When the nice. dropships appear in EDF-5, you're not allowed to kill them because nobody has ever tried shooting the glowing weak point. But now, as a civilian, you, you should... start blasting them out of the sky wow. and get immediately conscripted. I found a safe place! Behind them! 
Special infantry. Ranger. Up, you yeah, waste no special. time and immediately bring Braga. up Braga to kick his ass. Nice. In fact, this timeline goes so well that the EDF has developed their ultimate weapon. More Braga. Braga with a gun. <laughs> okay, you can tell this was not made in America. You can definitely tell this was Japan. If this was America first, Braga would already have 15 guns on it. Plus, a hands would be gun, a feet would be gun, it would be a gun. The Just a big ass M4. Everything they have at us. It's time for us to use our own Trump card. Which is? Another Braga. With more guns? This is basically the perfect timeline for us, but the aliens still oh managed to God. send the evolved chips back. Yeah, my if we stupidity. Win, we need our if we have a time machine, then everything we've done so far, or if it was... Nothing. Own ace in a hole. Luckily, the scientist has one. The EDF's ultimate secret weapon. Coincidence. That's right. Random chance. The aliens have a finite number of evolved <gasps> ships across every time loop. Oh. If ten go back and we destroy one, then they can only send nine back in the next loop. So all we have to do is time destroy. loop infinitely and eventually kill every single evolved ship, stopping them from going back in time and wiping our progress, oh and actually allowing us to gain the upper hand. To communicate this, EDF did the last thing I expected. It got meta to go back in time wait, and wait, kill wait, 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 EDF. Did the last that? thing I expected. It got. Meta. The primary is trying to interfere with the past and change history. They see a fleet of times and by them to alter the course of battle. This is their Better. strategy. To go back in time and kill the evolved ships, you have to physically go back for your oh mission my select screen. God. These include the only mission that takes place at night. They can reuse their entire game three times. But darkness? <laughs> Whoa, that's way too disruptive. We can only do that once. Bro, why are there so many missions? 147 missions. The EDF's finest and attack. Then they all die and tell you to run away. Great work, guys. You shoot the ring and it goes horizontal, opening its portal to rain enemies. Wait, what? It's revealed that you're not just fighting one group of aliens from one point in the future. You're Fine fighting audience. all aliens from every point in the future. Yeah, let's see the... Yeah, I saw a Trump. I thought, okay, what the is that? Did they, is this one of those cavemen they managed to... Uh, Find from a, what the f Florida? They're throwing everything they have at you, but nothing is more effective in the ring because it stuns a player in real life. Then the final boss. <laughs> what is that? Of course, everything in It's a dragon. Big, but this thing is legitimately too big. It flies outside the skybox, attacks by turning an entire city block blue, and outruns all of your attacks. How does it outrun it if it's that big? It opens up and is revealed to be Mega God. Mega God. What the fuck has happened? The time travel oh. rules have either been- Have we had the first version of God that we now have a Mega God? I'm confused. I thought we were searching for the motherfucker. Making sense or the oxygen deprivation has finally gotten to me. Allow me to explain what's actually okay. going Please on. Do, we Seth. are currently in a time duel to determine who gets time paradoxed out of existence. Okay. Humanity or the aliens. The aliens caused the time paradox with that little ship crash, and uh -huh. we caused the time paradox by launching a dirty bomb at Mars to prevent the cruel from evolving. Now mm. time itself has chosen us as humanity's champion, and Giga God as the aliens Giga champion. God. Whoever loses this fight gets their entire species time paradoxed out oh, of existence. Shit. I'll reiterate, time is a sapient entity which manually resolves paradoxes by handpicking contestants for a death match. Throwing this is no longer- Ew. Okay, listen, I've seen some dirty ass feet, some disgusting ass feet, but what the fuck was that? They, every single toe on that dude's foot was disgusting in its own way. Like, eh, I, I don't want to go back to show you because that was disgusting. Longer humanity Ew. versus that aliens. Was like, this I is wanna four go. retards versus God's final form. <laughs> okay, what if God is also a re? Hmm. You know? He's a mega god. And he looks a little special as well. We did it! Let's go! We killed Mega God. I guess. Nice. Why is he flaming through his ears and mouth and orifices? Remember, Yay. aliens, you're no match for the Indom. Remember, aliens. Sorry, sir, but this is real life. The Bosnia gets the <laughs> she shot that is so offensive. I love it. You're no man. That's about Gideon. I love this. Human I grew up in the hood of the pack. Huh? What is that? What you want? I've met men who could goon for 36 hours straight. Damn. I've met stronger men who could flicker goon for seven seconds. Mm. Humanity flicker? always has and always Yo? will overcome adversity. Is the homies? Because we have something. 
was that Putin and Zelensky from the Avatar? You don't. Oh my Stupidity. god. And you get nothing. No ending. Goodbye. Thank you for the 60 bucks. Earth Defense Force 6 is a lobotomizing experience mm. where every single design choice is intended. What the wrong. hell is that? It's a sacrificial altar where you trade neurons for dopamine, coded by Emperor Hirohito himself. Uh -huh. The weapon descriptions are lies. The dialogue is primordial <laughs> brain rot. <laughs> We can I am the Manchurian candidate. My MK Ultra activation phrase could be any line of dialogue from this game. God, I yeah. hope it's not mating season. But I'm not complaining. <laughs> Coming from a race of people with a history of being fried in DiGiorno Easy Bake Ovens. Parting uh -huh. with $60. That's a lot of Zimbabwe and But it was worth it. This is a series made by the same five guys for the past 20 years. And I'm cheering them on. Nonsense Adio. is an antidote in a world where nothing makes sense. And there's value in something that transcends reason. This is a product of unintelligent design, and I love it. As always, Do you? more content to come, so stay tuned. A warm thanks to the many members of the Merchants Guild generously funding and bankrolling these videos. You're all truly wonderful. Have a good one. Yes, you are. Well, I can safely say that... What the fuck did I just watch? I don't want to touch this game. I don't even want to look at this game. That sounded absolutely exhaustingly awful. Holy shit, well, if anybody's played that, I hope to God you haven't. Uh, let me know how it was, and I'll, I will see y'all next time. Hope y'all enjoyed this. It was, it was a ride. It was a wild ride. <laughs> Bye, everybody.